Hey, hey, welcome to live at 755, and it's not really 755, it's 215 Eastern on a Wednesday here, hump day as we get through the middle of the work week. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, Mitch Taylor here, and just wanted to go live really quick as I've actually been going uh, strong. I know Jason Clock and other guys, they, they're like going strong since 5 a.m. almost every damn morning, but... Uh, that's not my routine. Typically, it's you know six thirty, seven o'clock in the morning, wake up, and then rock and roll from there. So, a, a little tired this morning, if I could be honest. Had a, uh, a networking meeting this morning that we helped out and provided some support for for one of our local uh, venues. Uh, good, mo good morning, good afternoon, Sherm. I'm so used to saying good morning, Sherm, my friend Sherm, uh, former Music Box Productions uh employee uh that's i also am an alumni of that uh that company uh john good morning or good evening or good afternoon that's where we are uh, good afternoon adam good afternoon logan uh let's see paul carissa uh ron thanks for being here kayleen i'll see you later on kayleen for training uh rebecca and actually something that rebecca said today at toastmasters uh, Rebecca is a fellow Toastmaster with myself, uh, stuck out to me. And that's actually what I'm going to chat about here today. And it's maybe a little slightly different spin on what she said. Uh, so, But I still want to give her credit for the inspiration for this. And that is good morning or good afternoon, Gary. I get stuck on the whole good morning thing. That's because it's so routine for me to be talking to you in the morning time versus the afternoon. And And that is observation versus frustration. This is so me. Maybe it's because of my personality type, as uh, Vicky, my podcast partner with Creating Connections, would say. Uh, that, that type A personality where you're just so like, go, and, and you, know, you go right through things, and sometimes without any lack of thought. Uh, or feeling for another person or another thing or another, you know, maybe animal or whatever the case is. Uh, good afternoon, Chris. And observation versus frustration. If we take a step back and just examine, take stock in what we have, then we're less likely to get frustrated when we get a bad piece of news or we get that information that we probably didn't want to get or if we just get that that feeling of I'm overwhelmed and oh my I get so much I can't handle. we get all that right you get I know people that struggle from anxiety good afternoon Lupe uh, it's morning in Hawaii it's 8, 18 in the morning in Hawaii, in Oahu. Uh, good afternoon, Howard Wallach, Tom Heath. So if you take a step back and have some observation, it will help alleviate your frustration. And that to me was probably one of the biggest takeaways I've had today, frankly. Uh, I've had a lot happen so far today. It's been crazy. And uh, it's been a lot going on in my life as of late. But that being said, uh, thank you, Rebecca, for that today. And not only do I want you to get out of this, the observation versus frustration concept is taking that step back, but also allowing yourself to be open to receiving that feedback. Too often we get just tunnel vision and tunnel focus, and this is what I have to work on right now. It's just that. And we put our blinders up. Nothing else matters. I'm guilty of it. We're all guilty of it. And yeah, Lupe. <laughs> but if we are allow ourselves to be opened, you know, they talk about the mind's like a parachute. It only works when it's open, right? If we allow ourselves to be open to other people, if we allow ourselves to be open to those concepts, even today, even today, I was busy filling out my evaluation form, tunnel vision, to evaluate the person that spoke just before Rebecca today at Toastmasters. And Rebecca, kudos to her, opened her speech with an attention-grabbing headline. And I went, foo. 
up because it caught my attention and it brought me in. And so you need to cut through the clutter. Take a lesson from advertisers. If you want to cut through the clutter, have an attention grabbing statement or attention grabbing thought or attention grabbing word to get the attention of your partner, of your significant other, of your child, of your son or daughter, and then actually have the conversation. So kudos to Rebecca today for getting through to me and sparking this conversation. I appreciate your inspiration on this uh, for me to deliver this here today to everyone here, uh, the 15 or so viewers we have right now and whoever else watches this uh, down the line. Good afternoon, Chad. Uh, Daniel, thanks for joining us. Vicki, hello, hello. So again, I just want to have a quick word today on observation versus frustration. And again, certainly not a holier than thou thing. I know that I will get tunnel vision again. And I know, as sure as I'm standing here right now, that I'll get frustrated again and not think to step back. But I think that as I age, <laughs> oh, actually, it's this side, the more, the more gray, the, that side. <laughs> As I as I get older, as I age, I tend to get wiser. I think that's the way with all of us, right? Um, and it was so great seeing the staff at the Terrace Bay Hotel today, how they came together to support um, Jen and Jared and, and just being proud of what they've built at the Terrace Bay and showcasing that for BNI members. And I want to thank uh, Jen and Jared and the Terrace Bay staff. Uh, and of course, our fellow vendors, we had Uper Designs there, we had Bell Photography there, uh, we had um, Purely, I think it was Purely Cupcakes, a new cupcake provider in the area was also there, as I think Kelly, uh, Cupcake Kelly was out of town uh, for vacation, or had planned to be anyway. Um, and so, yeah, so that's uh, kind of my tip of the hat today to our local pros for pulling together a great, uh, kind of a tip inside, a peek inside of weddings for the wedding side of the business for Terrace Bay and having some of our, our fellow pros help out for their BNI meeting today. Uh, that's why I was unable to join you live at 755. So an observation, make sure you have that first. If you have something that jumps in your way and frustrates you, try to step back first, have an observation versus the frustration and decide how you want to move forward from there. And again, I need to take that advice more than anyone else. Um, yeah. Kayleen, absolutely. Kayleen just reminded me of this, and I've constantly said this to the staff and in training constantly is be in the moment, be present. And I've got that obviously from my mentors, whether it be Mark Farrell or Bill Herman or Kyle Cease or others that I've worked with over the years uh, have always, you know, helped me focus on being in the moment. And that's also another great way to say uh, what I just said. So uh, good afternoon, Mark. Good afternoon, Paul. That's going to be it for today for live at 755. Went a little long today and my apologies for missing you this morning. I uh, want to make sure you get your daily kickstart. We missed it this morning due to other work commitments, but we'll be moving forward again manana with another episode. Thanks so much for watching live at 755. Go live, impact, value, and engage. Talk to you soon. Bye.